Now, just a little way from where she lay, stood an odd-looking house. The home of the Bear family. Papa, Mama, and little Oswald. Breakfast is ready. Mmm, looks good. Oh. Oswald, stop shouting. That wasn't me. It was Pop. Why, Bruce Bear. Hot. What? Not what? Hot. It's hot. It's supposed to be hot. Not that doggone hot. Oh. All right. Why don't we take a little walk until it cools off a bit? Like, you don't know me, ma'am, but I've got to hip you to some news. Like the other day, I'm walking through this cool forest when, ma'am, what do I see but this little cat doing this Weirdsville routine? Like he's going... Skoo skoo ba doo, ooh bop she bam. I am the Rumpelstiltskin man. The king's got his gold, the queen's got her fame, and their baby will have my Rumpelstiltskin name. Now, isn't that just too cuckoo? Ouch! What do you think you're doing? Well, I couldn't think of passing the castle of such a noble gentleman without paying my respect. Hey, a talking cat. But talking is not half so remarkable as your many powers. I hear you have the ability to change. Oh, you mean uh, like uh -huh. this? Uh, that's pretty good, you know. How about something tough, like changing into something small, you know, like a fly? A fly? So be it. <laughs> Porto! Oh, there you are. Is this the pig residence? Capital P I double G, pig. That's it, lady. Yes, it is. Got a singing telegram for you. <clears throat> Put on the skillet. Put on the lid. Your rich uncle just wound up dead. What? That ain't all. I tell you true. He left a million bucks to you. Oh, great. And all the little piggies got moolah, moolah. All the little piggies got moolah now. This room is like. big enough for a giant. This is the castle of the giant of fun. Or is it Fee? He is a mean, evil giant with a nasty disposition. And he stole from your father. Let's see. One hen, golden egg type. Two bags of gold, 14 carat. One harp, singing variety. You must return them to your mother, who was the rightful owner. But remember, the giant has a keen sense of smell. If he smells a stranger, he will say, Fee, fi, fo, fum. And then you must run for your life, because that means he's discovered you. But how do you know all this? Because I am your fairy godmouse. Halt! You cannot move! You know, you're right. You have come into my garden like a thief. Alas, be merciful. I'm only here because my wife sees your rampion. I think I'll turn you into a toad. And uh, has such a longing for it that she would die if she could get no rampion. If that's true, you can take away as much rampion as you like. But on one condition, you must give me the child which your wife is about to bring into the world. In his fear, the husband consented to everything, and when the baby was born, the witch appeared, gave it the name Rapunzel. Then uh, you'll pardon the expression, unnatural appetite. 
He not only ate three square meals a day, but he ate them every hour on the hour. Mm -hmm. Boy, do I love food, food, food. Hello, hello. Uh, let me speak to the grocery store. Mm -hmm. Hello, grocery? Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Hare. No, not the follicle-type hair, the rabbit-type hair. Look, send me over a bag of walnuts, will you? Mm -hmm. Walnuts. Got to have some right away. That's right, walnuts. Unknown to the hare, the grocery store had just hired a new delivery boy, or rather, a delivery tortoise. And we all know how slow tortoises are. It wasn't until a year later that the walnuts reached their destination. The lion, destination. you know, is the king of the beasts, monarch of all he surveys. Or at any rate, he was until one day... Hey, who did that? I did. Oh. Hey, did you do that again? Yeah, and I'm going to keep right on doing it. What for? Because as a king of the beasts, you're a flop. Oh. Look at you. You're a mess. <gasps> Look at that. Your hair is coming out by the hands full. And your teeth will be doing the same thing any day. Let me hear you roar. <laughs> Just as I thought, only 20 feet. If you keep up your horridness, I'm going to have the sorest finger in the kingdom. Like I got the sorest finger in the kingdom. No, like the ring idea, eh? Well, your father's last wish was that I make something out of you. That's something. Yeah, man, but uh, what? This is the wildest thing I've ever seen. Oh, come on, fairy godmother. What kind of thing is that? It is a horrid thing. You are a horrid kind of Children thing. I, as they have a habit of doing, and the sons grew older and wiser, all except Nat. He grew older, but definitely not wiser. Would you mind telling me why you hooked up the cow to the reducing machine? I wanted a milkshake. Just and you. I know, Pop. Someday I'll hang.